the best. DK, Pittsburgh Sports, Forbes.com, and Baseball Digest. Just give me an overview of Major League Baseball. And of course, you got to talk about my Pirates and, of course, Mr. Francona's Cleveland Indians. Go ahead, John. Well, uh, you know, it's going to be a, an interesting year. The Red Sox won it all last year, and the, they have most of their team back. And the Yankees have bloated up on relief pitchers and starting pitchers to try to chase them down in the American League East. And, you know, if you look at, the, if you look at some other teams, the Pirates, uh, certainly uh, exceeded expectations last year after Eric Cole and Andrew McCutcheon were traded about a month before the start of spring training. They had a winning record of 82 and 79, but uh, they're in a very tough division. You know, the Brewers and Cubs uh, both made the playoffs last year, and the Cardinals almost made it. So uh, a lot of good competition. And, you know, the Indians, again, uh, they, they won their division three years in a row, and I, I know they, they traded some of their key guys and lost a few in free agency over the winter. But they still have uh, some of the best starting pitching in baseball, and, uh, you know, they still have a pretty potent lineup, even though they've lost a few guys. And I think uh, they're the favorites to, uh, I guess we say, four teams in the American League Central this year. 30 seconds. Let's uh, remember Bob Friend. I did a nice video on him the other day. You were much closer to the man than me. What has he meant to the history of that great franchise that is the Pirates? Bob Friend recently passing away. Well, he, uh, he was a real bright light in the 50s uh, when the Pirates struggled. And then, of course, uh, he was a key part of the team in 1960 as one of their top starting pitchers when they broke through and won the World Series that year, beating the Yankees. Uh, and he was durable. That's the thing that stands out as much as anything. Not only was he a good pitcher, but he was durable. From, you know, he pitched for 15 years from 1951 to 65, and he still holds team records for innings pitched and games started. And like he said, he threw his last pitch for the Pirates 54 years ago, so that those records have stood the test of time. And as his strikeout record, he still has the most strikeouts of any uh, Pirates pitcher in history. Let me tip my hat to you, Mr. Parado. You're the best. Keep doing what you do, and thank you for joining me.